Brooks Kopka has the game to win a US Open on any course. Oh, and a year after Kopka overpowered the wide fairways of Aaron Hills in a US Open remembered for low scoring, he navigated his way through the brutal conditions of Shincock Hills and closed with a 2 under 68 to become the first repeat champion in 29 years. Curtis Strange, the last player to go back to back in this major, watched the entire final round on Sunday as the Fox Sports reporter on the ground, and they shared a brief hug off the 18th green after Kopka tapped in for bogey and a one-shot victory. Man, it feels good to hold this thing again, Kopka said with the silver trophy in his arms. His victory on Sunday, Monday, Manila time, might not have been possible, if not for grinding out a 72 on Saturday in conditions so severe the last 45 players to tee off in the third round didn't break par. The Osga conceded the course was over the top and pledged to give it more water and slow it down. Bogies gave way to birdies and no one took advantage like Tommy Fleetwood of England. He made eight birdies, none on the two par fives, and missed an eight-foot birdie putt on the final hole for a 63, only the sixth player in U.S. Open history to go to that low. Yeah, but I wanted a 62, said Fleetwood, who finished one shot back and had to settle for the silver medal. Fleetwood was one shot behind when he finished, and Kopka still had 11 holes to play as Shincock Hills began to get crisp under another sunny sky. Kopka never lost the lead dot with a pudding performance and calm demeanor reminiscent of Retief Goosen when he won the previous U.S. Open at Shincock Hills in 2004. The 28-year-old Kopka began the back nine with three pivotal putts, one for birdie, one for bogey, one for par. The biggest might have been his bogey on the nasty little par 3 number 11. Kopka pulled it to the left, down the slope, and into thick grass. He chopped that up the slope with so much speed that it raced across the green and into the bunker. He blasted that out to 8 feet and made the putt to keep his lead at one shot. I think that was like making a birdie maybe even making an eagle, he said. Because it could have been a big momentum shift there, and we could have been playing tennis just going back and forth. To make bogey there was pretty incredible, and I think kind of the reason why we won. Dottie wasn't through. He hacked out of the hay over the green at number 12, pitched beautifully to 7 feet, and made the par. Two holes later, after another drive into grass so thick he wasn't sure he could get it out, Kopka rolled in an eight-foot for another par save. Kopka seized control with a wedge to three one-half feet for birdie on the par 5 16th for a two-shot lead, and he never flinched until it no longer mattered. Kopka pulled his approach to the 18th off the grandstand, pitched onto about 12 feet and two putted for a bogey. He finished at 1 over 281, 13 shots higher than his winning score at Aaron Hills last year. It was the first time since 2013 at Miriam that no one broke par in the US Open. I enjoy the test, Kopka said. I enjoy being pushed to the limit. Sometimes you feel like you are about to break mentally, but that's what I enjoy. I enjoy hard golf courses. I enjoy playing about the toughest in golf you are ever going to play. Dot that it was starting on Thursday and especially on Saturday. Kopka opened with a 75, the highest first round score by a US Open champion since Raymond Floyd at Shincock Hills in 1986.
one in the world. Copecom moved to a career best number four in the world ranking. A year ago, Johnson called him on the eve of the final round to offer advice. On Sunday, they were playing side by side without exchanging words, each trying to play a course that was considerably softer than the previous day. We didn't really speak too much, Kopka said. He was busy grinding his tail off, and I was busy grinding mine. We're extremely close. I love the guy to death. It would have been fun to duel it out with him coming down the end, having to make some putts. Not only one of them did, which is why Kopka is the US Open champion. Americans have won the last five majors all of them in their 20s, and Kopka joined an elite group as only the seventh player to go back-to-back -back in what is regarded as golf's toughest test. Next up is Pebble Beach and a chance to join Willie Anderson as the only player to win three in a row. Anderson won his third straight in 1905. Ben Hogan won three straight that he played missing in 1949 after nearly getting killed when his car struck a bus. Masters champion Patrick Reed flirted with the second leg of the Grand Slam. He was tied for the lead when he ran off five birdies in his opening seven holes. Reed spent too much time in the high grass on the back nine and closed with a 68 to finish fourth. 